Hi everyone, I'm Meredith Habit, Culinary Director for Sir La Table, and welcome to On the Table. Today I'm going to be making for you a lemongrass Thai basil vegetable stir fry. This comes together start to finish, super easy. All right, to get started, a quick cooking recipe like this, or most stir fries, it's really important to get all of your mise en place or your prep work done before you start cooking. So, as you can see, I've already prepped out the majority of my produce. So I've trimmed my beans, I've cut my bell peppers, my eggplant, I've sliced my green onions, I've sliced my green chilies. Be careful with the chilies. Either wear gloves or wash your hands immediately after you handle them because they are spicy. I've also measured out all of the ingredients for my sauce. Let's get started with the garlic. I really like to use this handy garlic roller tool. It's a silicone sleeve. You pop your garlic cloves in here, you press and you roll, and it's gonna do all the peeling for you without leaving that garlicky smell on your fingers. To mince, I'm just going to uh, start the process by smashing the garlic with the side of my knife. So start by slicing your way through, moving your non-knife hand back as you need as a guide. And you just want this pretty small. This is about the size of confetti. This is what I'm looking for. And now that the garlic is done, I'm gonna work on my bok choy. Bok choy is this delightful vegetable. It's in uh, the cabbage family. You see this a lot in a variety of Asian cuisines. Wash them really well. Even after you've cut it in half or quarter, make sure that you're looking in there and making sure that it's washed really, really well. Now I'm just gonna cut these into bite size or one inch pieces. Okay, now the last thing we need to prep is lemongrass. Lemongrass, if you've seen it at the store, is this nice long stalk. It's really hard, it feels kind of woody. You smell it, it smells really citrusy and super aromatic. We wanna start by helping to release those aromatic properties. And so you take the back of your knife, not your blade side, and you're gonna give it a couple good whacks um, up and down the stalk and while you're kind of rolling it. So you really bruise it and start releasing those um, aromatic notes. And now we're just gonna slice it as thinly as possible. But we do need about two tablespoons for this and I think I just about have it. Now all of my produce is prepped. Next, I'm going to just mix up my sauce and then we'll set ourselves up for success. Okay, so I really like a liquid measuring cup for this because it has a pour spout. So I've got fish sauce, garlic chili sauce, palm sugar grated. So you usually can find this in a cone or like a dollop and you just grate it on a box grater. If you can't find palm sugar, um, oftentimes light brown sugar is substituted. It's a slightly different flavor, but it's gonna be the closest ingredient that you can find if you can't actually get palm sugar. And then we have lime juice. You can just take a spoon and kind of break up that palm sugar a little bit, give it a stir. Okay, so mise en place is ready. Everything is lined up, super organized. I've got my carbon steel wok preheating. I'm gonna put it about medium heat. Carbon steel acts a lot like cast iron, uh, where it heats really evenly and it retains its heat really well. However, because it's thin, it will heat a lot faster. And over time, actually, carbon steel will become non-stick like cast iron does with care and seasoning and proper usage. Now I'm going to add my oil. Always for stir frying, I use a neutral oil. We're cooking at a high heat, so you definitely want something that's, that's not going to burn uh, with this high heat. To know when the oil is ready, we're gonna look for it to kind of dance and shimmer around. You want this to be hot. Uh, you just kind of want to watch it, make sure that everything is sizzling, but nothing is burning. So always be adjusting your heat, give it a good swirl. And now we're gonna start with the aromatics. Have your spoon, love a wok spoon. These are designed specifically for woks because the curvature of the spoon 
mimics the curvature of the wok. So it's really good at moving everything around. Okay, in we go. Garlic first. You wanna hear that sizzle? Start moving it around. Garlic can burn easily. As soon as it's aromatic and fragrant, we're gonna add our green onions. Our Thai chilies. Lovely. It is so aromatic and fragrant in here. This is also one of my favorite parts about stir frying. And now our lemongrass. We're just gonna cook this. So adjust your temperature as needed. Bring it higher if you need more of a sizzle. You really want this to, to cook quickly. If anything is starting to brown or burn, then reduce your heat. We're gonna cook this for about another 10, 15 seconds. Consistently moving things around. That's why it's called stir frying. And now we're going to add in our eggplant. Get the eggplant well coated in the oil and the aromatics. Again, make sure your heat is nice and high, high enough so you're getting that constant sizzle. And then we're gonna kinda let this one chill for a couple seconds. So we're gonna let the eggplant cook for about two to three minutes, always adjusting the eggplant so it has nice contact, but we're really looking for some nice browning and caramelization of these ingredients. So, eggplant's nice and soft, it's caramelized. Now on to the bell peppers. About 30 seconds to a minute. I'm gonna go ahead with the bok choy. I'm gonna stir fry this until the greens are nice and bright and it just starts to wilt. This dish is really nice because the eggplant gets very soft, but yet the bell peppers and the bok choy and the green beans will retain their crunch. So it's a really nice balance of flavors and textures. So now for the green beans. All right, those green beans, nice and bright. In goes the sauce, we're just gonna get up a little stir. In that goes. Great, I'm gonna cut the heat. Everything's nicely coated. And now while it's still hot, I'm going to tear a bunch of Thai basil over top. So you can, these little leaves can just go straight in. This is such a beautiful aromatic dish. It's similar to the basil that you see in Italian cooking. This one has a little bit more of like a licorice -y kind of pungent aroma rather than um, that kind of sweetness that the Italian basil has. And there you go. There is your lemongrass Thai basil vegetable stir fry. If you wanted to, you could also stir fry some shrimp, some chicken, or some pork in this. I would add it right after the aromatics and cook it along with all the vegetables, a great option for this dish. I have a nice bowl of steamed jasmine rice. Take a nice big spoonful of the veggies over top, like so. I'm gonna tear a few more Thai basil leaves over top because I love that flavor. Finish with a squeeze of lime. Mmm. That little kick from those Thai chilies, the saltiness from the fish sauce, man, that brightness of the lemongrass, everything is so well balanced in here. It's crispy. It's exactly what I wanted. Enjoy.